Oh, I don't know how warm it's going to be today, but it's already 55 and it's not even 11 o'clock yet. So, wow. We shall see. It says that it's going to rain, but it doesn't look like rain. So that's good. I did start to work on some cards last night, but there's my flowers. Oh, look at the tulip. It's bloomed. Yay. Good morning. It's Barbara. <laughs> Getting organized. Thank you for joining me for coffee. This is my second coffee. I took Dennis up some his tea, so I took a coffee. A lot going on today. Dennis is has taken Pearl to the vet. The vet was able to squeeze her in. Not Maisie, just Pearl. At 11 o'clock, so keep your fingers crossed that she has some ideas on what to do. And, uh, yeah, and Aura has uh, physical therapy today. Kim can't come after all. She's got a cold or something, and, you know, we don't, <laughs> we don't have her come when she's not feeling well, which makes perfect sense for everyone. So I will be taking Aura to her physical therapy, and Dennis will stay home. I need to contact Allison and find out when they're coming, because the girls are coming. Dennis and I are babysitting tonight. They'll stay overnight with us. Anyway, busy, busy. So, but I don't know when they're coming, but they're coming after school, so. It's all a big mystery. I suspect they won't be here before Aura and I get back from physical therapy. I'm wearing something that isn't reading very green. It's greener. It is green. <laughs> it's looking very blue or very teal. It's not. It's green. <laughs> it's the only green I have since I'm frogging my silverling. I have no green sweaters in my pantheon of sweaters. So I need to. Well, I got extra yarn for that, that, that and I will pick a new pattern for that possum yarn and figure out what my green sweater is going to look like. And I, But I don't anticipate knitting it anytime soon. Because I think n knitting that possum alpaca wool yarn is not something I'm going to really feel like doing very much in the summertime. I'm just guessing here. So that'll be a next winter project in time for next St. Patty's Day. <laughs> I'm going to take this off as soon as, <laughs> as soon as I'm done talking to you. Oh, anyway. But I have a few minutes to talk to you before it all starts. So I did put down the first layer for some cards last night, and that felt good. I will leave this stuff out in case the girls want to paint. I will bring their paints down. And I bought new paper for them. And then I will finish up these cards. I have two folding cards and two regular cards. We'll see how they turn out. It's a free, you know, sort of very loose floral design <laughs> that I stole from somebody else, you know, just the idea of it. But we shall see. But I have decided I'm just going to look in my drawer and find a sympathy card. To send along with Allison today because I can't think of what to write on the back of the card. And commercial cards are already pre printed, so <laughs> then you don't have to think so hard. Meanwhile, so yesterday I knit, I finished the second sleeve down to three quarters, and I finished the neck. and I started back on the body of my bistro. So now I'm just knitting round and round with the little sections of purling and see how much yarn I have 
on how far I can go down and still do what I want with the sleeves. And maybe I won't be able to. I don't know. But now I know what I have left, and I can just work and see how it goes. So the bistro is getting close. I have not gone to the store yet for the Sylvester yarn. I might, I don't think I'll do that this weekend. I don't know, maybe Sunday. Probably not till Monday. And then, but I did order the yarn for the Weasley sweater. And I, I think I'm, you know, well, I'm going to, there is a Weasley sweater, Mrs. Weasley sweater. I found it, you know, a free um, pattern. I'll take a look at that. But it's just a crew neck sweater with an eye on oh, with a initial on it and I'm quite sure I can you know figure out an eye and I think I'll do it in Tarja so I have this idea that maybe I'll just take the unicorn sweater did I tell you this and make the make it bigger you know just use the dimensions of the unicorn sweater since it's in pieces since it's in Tarja and uh, work it out myself. Do a little math. I can do that. I can do that. Jamie has the Harry Potter book, and she, uh, I, I asked her what size yarn, and she said worsted and to Aaron in the pattern that's in that book. I ha I don't know why. I just had this idea that I might have that book, but I'm not sure. I can't. I, I have. Maybe it's the Jane Austen book I'm thinking of. I don't know. Anyway, when I finally do my thing in my room, I can't even find my paints in my room. I have got to clean up that room. But anyway, when I do the move with the books, I will see if I have the Harry Potter book. But I think it. I think I don't need it. You know. Oh, I'm rambling. But anyway, that's Isabel's sweater. Will be the next sweater I make after I finish my bistro, and then the Sylvester. Yeah. I was kind of thinking maybe the um, contrast color in the Sylvester could be mohair. What do you think about that? I was thinking that. I, th I thought the minis was a good idea, but it occurred to me that I have some mohair somewhere. I, I should swatch that <laughs> before I invest yeah anyway that's going to make it a very very warm sweater now that I think about it because of all that um, slipping and stuff it's already a substantial sweater and if I have all that mohair on the inside slip you know the floats yeah never mind I, I, I'm not I, I, I don't think that's the best idea I've ever had anyway uh, here you go this is how it works around here <laughs> so hmm so I guess I'm gonna go I will be soon helping or in the shower and she has physical therapy today she can't miss today because she skipped Monday so it's been a whole week since she went so she needs to go so I'm going to continue commencing the day and I will talk to you tomorrow oh maybe I'll have granddaughters with me Please take good care of yourselves. Please, please stay safe and stay sane.